Hi, I'm Felipe. And I'm Lillian. And we are the Postmodern Family. We are Americans living in the UK reacting to Great Britain. We make five reactions a week, so subscribe to our channel to see every single one of them Monday through Friday. Today we're going to react to Only Fools and Horses. This is the sketch where Rodney has an imaginary girlfriend. Is that right? I yeah, know. Rodney's imaginary girlfriend. Tickets for the do Saturday night. Only uh, I've only got two left. The do. Well, he won't want two, will he, Mike? Why won't I want two? Well, he won't be bringing a bird, will ya? Why shouldn't I be will bringing ya? a bird? Well, there's no reason, Rodney. But why break the habits of a lifetime, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I can't have the two, Mike. How much? Good boy. It's a fiver. <laughs> Who are you bringing in? Your uncle Albert. I'll <laughs> <laughs> give over, Rodney. I'm bringing a girl. What's her name? Hey? What's her name? <laughs> it's none of your business. You have to find out on Saturday night, won't you? Who is it? Yeah, it's not that sort from the fishmongers, is it? <laughs> well, no, it ain't that sort from the fishmongers, <laughs> actually. <laughs> this one happens to be in show business. <laughs> show business? You're a liar. I'm telling you the truth, Mickey. Liar. You want to see her and all. She's a right Brahma. <laughs> well, I've got ten, so you won't Brahma? bring a bird on Saturday night. Make it 20. All right, 20. Right. Oi, 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 oi. What sort of noise here, Connie? It's <laughs> it's better me I ain't got a bird to bring to the do on Saturday. Oh, you haven't, have you? <laughs> <laughs> what, really? Yes. Ooh. Go on, then, Rodney, go on. Take him the mouth he get. Go on. <laughs> I'll tell you what, make it 30. <sighs> make it 40, if you like. Go on. Go on, Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> like well. oh, no. Let's make it a nice round 50, eh? You're on. I'll see Hello. you on Saturday. And you better bring your money with you. <clears throat> Got more front than Buckingham Palace, you know. Yeah, don't worry. Come Saturday night, you'll be the one that's laughing, won't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. Hey, come on, come and sit down over here and hold your noise, all right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, no. Dave, you can sit here, I'm going. Why Dave. Do I went find cards or what? <coughs> yeah, come on. Trig trigger oh, calls him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, it'll be down to you then, boy. See, here. Keep your money to yourself, will you? Because of old all kind. Oh, yeah. Right. OK, I will go a pound. Yeah, go on, I'll have some of that. Two pounds. Four. Eight. Sixteen. Thirty-two. Sixty-four. What's after sixty-four? <laughs> 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 it's going to cost you 128 to see me, Del Boy. Just a minute, boys. Just a minute. It's supposed to be a friendly game, isn't it? Friendly is like the start of World War III, isn't it? Well, what can we do, Del Boy? Is it's it? just the way the bits have gone. I'll tell you what we can do. We can both take our bets back and start all over again, eh? And just, you know, try to play a little more sensibly. All right? All right, Del Boy. Down, Anything you say. Right. <clears throat> Eight pound. I'll see ya. <laughs> I got three ten. Oh, well, that beats me out of sight, Boise. Well played, my son. Good night. Come on, Rodney. Let's come on. <laughs> <laughs> he just realised he, he lost out on. Oh, I want to hit see the oh, man girlfriend. Yeah. Hey. Wait. So see if you can find the. Uh... The rest of this one. Yeah. Oh, it's you. Come on in. Where's Rodney? He's coming up the stairs. Oh, he's out of your blood, Dill. Like it wasn't my fault. Why does well, it not look entirely. Like that? I only did it so that he could win the bet. I'm sure in a cold light Just of the day, aftermath. Rodney will realise that Bonnie's behaviour wasn't that bad. Oh, it was bad, Dill. It was very bad. <laughs> At one point, Rodney started crying. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Be careful now, Nathan. Don't be a plonker all your life. <laughs> you set her up to going out with me. I did not set her up. I paid her. You paid her? Well, that's worse! No, listen, stop it. Here. All right, now listen. I only did it for you to win the bet and to save your pride. My pride? Yes. Tonight, in front of half of Peckham, the bird I told everyone was my girlfriend stood on a counter and took all her clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think anyone noticed, Rodney. <laughs> Well, you certainly noticed, Uncle, because you stood on a chair to notice. Yeah. And at See, one you... point, he almost knocked you off. That's right, he said. No, listen. <laughs> All right, so she had one too many gins. I didn't know she had a drink problem. Oh, I found out a couple of new things about her as well. 
I didn't know she could juggle like ale bottles. I didn't know she couldn't sing. And where did that snake come from? <laughs> I don't know. Nobody knows where it went, either. <laughs> well, that's it, isn't it? I will never, ever live this evening down. This is the sort of stuff that legends are made of. Right? <laughs> I was there telling everyone how me and Yvonne was thinking of getting engaged, and I turned round and there she is, stop. With nothing on. I had her singing in one ear and hitting Sid in the other. <laughs> yeah, but you won your bet, didn't you? Yeah, I won the bet, all right. Ah, good boy. Did uh, Mickey Pierce pay up? Yeah, he paid up. He was laughing, but he paid up. All right, come on, come on. Let's have the 50. 50 p. 50 pence? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I bet I know what you thought. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> you and that Mickey Pierce are like a couple of bleeding kids. <laughs> I can't wait to tell the boys down the market. Rodney's girl did a strip and Del Boy won a 50 pence bet. Now, <laughs> 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 um, stand very still. There is a snake in the hood of your duffel coat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, there is two. Look at it, it's a big one. Oh, come on, be quick. Get down and phone the vets, quickly. <laughs> oh, man. Man, he thought it was 50 pounds. I thought it was 50 pounds. I did, too. Because of a 50p vet. That's so stupid. <laughs> I wonder what he paid the girl for that. More than 50p, that's for sure. That's for sure. Oh, my goodness. How embarrassing. I know. We're going to get engaged. <laughs> yeah, and then she's naked. <laughs> Where is Peckham? Do you know where that is? Mm, is that London know. area? Or? I have no idea. Is that where mm. they live? Or that? I don't know. I've heard it before. I just don't mm. know where it is. We don't do any research, you see. We don't look anything up. We just dive in and react. <laughs> That's the genre, folks, if you didn't know. <laughs> but anyway, that yeah. was, I, I actually thought that I thought that no one would have showed. So. And he would just lose the bet. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, but this is funnier. <laughs> <laughs> so did he hire a, like a prostitute? Yeah, he hired a stripper, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Paid her to go with him. Yeah. Yeah. Remember remember a couple weeks back we um we watched Falling Down mm -hmm. with Michael Douglas? Yeah. And remember the cop that was retiring and that they hired a a stripper that jump out of a cake for his retirement. Do you remember that? Uh, for the police. Yeah, movie. yeah, yeah. Um, and I remember seeing other movies where that happened. For the retirement, I was like, what is for, this? Just for events, they would have a cake. And yeah, so a girl and the stripper would come out of the cake. Out, and there would be women and men around, and that was normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even someone um, was telling me at, it happened at here. work. Yeah, my job... 15, 20 years ago, oh even, my. someone was retiring and they had a cake and a stripper. and Popped out? Yeah. What do they do? Nothing. That was just normal. That is weird. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Another time, as they say. The one time. Um, we watched recent, not recently, but this year we watched hmm. that, um, uh, who was it? Steve, uh, not Steven Seagal, the other one. Steven Seagal, was it Steven under Seagal? siege. Yeah, 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 yeah. under ship. siege. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the girl was hired to come yeah. out of the cake for the. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. For the admiral. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Weird. Why would they do that for a retirement? Like, what does that have to do with retirement? It has to do with perhaps what a man of the world thinks is a great celeb is a, a good party. Uh huh. So a man of the world at a great party would have naked women around. <laughs> that's what I, that's so weird. <laughs> so it has nothing to so do. So what do they with... do for women? Do they do anything for women? Remember, before w women, women weren't prominent work... in the workplace. Okay. So it's. Not, so... But they don't. So they don't do that anymore. I don't think so. No. Um... <laughs> and women don't have any uh, equal. A man coming out. But I saw it on in Chippendales. Um, I always read about Russian headlines and Russian news. Uh -huh. And there was um, a Russian policeman retiring. And uh -huh. They did it for him. Wow. And there was some video. Of the, she was dressed as a police. Oh, wow. I didn't see it all the way to naked. 
mind you. But they showed it on a regular news article, how she like, they were all in a classroom setting. And then she came up from behind and then just started stripping off. Oh <laughs> he got in trouble. Whoever or arranged it got in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Can't do that anymore. But yeah, back to this. So how does this compare to the other Only Fools and Horses? So the humor is is basically just the antics that they get up yeah. to. Yeah, and the, and the slight misunderstandings. But yeah. it's the character, I think. The comedy is built into the character, the different characters. Yeah. Yeah, they're just always picking on each other. So who's the dark haired guy again? I know so Del Boy. The, so Del Boy is the more clever one of the he's two. He's the older one. And he's the smarter one. Yeah. Remember I mean, the first episode, didn't we react to? The very mm, first episode. Mm, Maybe you never watched it. Mm, but it set the stage where um they lost their parents. Their parents die and okay. he's the one that has to like Took care of take care of everyone. Mm. Including his uncle. <laughs> <laughs> that old guy. Yeah, Uncle Albert. <laughs> right. So he's the patriarch of yeah, this little exactly. domestic unit. Mm -hmm. So they all live together. Mm -hmm. The two boys so. and the uncle. I think so, yeah. Mm. Boys. Rodney looks like an old, like, 45 year old guy. <laughs> yeah, but he acts like a teenager. <laughs> and then Dave is just there. Rodney. Yeah. <laughs> You said he reminded you of, um... Oh, um... Gosh, I don't remember. Forgetting that name of that show. The ice skating, the rollers blading scene yeah. and all that. Anyway, you say he kind of reminds you of him. Like, yeah, yeah. And... yeah, 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 yeah. What's the show's name? Oh, something about... Mo some mothers do have them. Yeah, some mothers, some mothers do, have them. do have them. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you approve of our admiration of Rodney. And his antics. Do send us more Only Fools and Horses clips to react to. We are really growing to appreciate it. And be sure to check out the music that I put out before on, under the Postmodern Family banner. Uh, you can always buy some of our music and that will support our channel. And I might be coming out with some Christmas music. Mm. And buy that. Yeah. See you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.